Hey guys, my name is Jason Brink and today I'm going to teach you how to use a morphological box to conduct analysis. This can be used for innovation and to reveal gaps in your own thinking. This is especially important when you're trying to think of things that you can do in the future in terms of projects or in terms of steering your work or steering your personal life. Oftentimes we find ourselves trapped in certain ways of thinking we will look at a problem and immediately one or two solutions will come to mind and we spend all of our time focusing on those but not digging more deeply into all of the other available options that may exist. A great example of this is in terms of your job search. Come at home, this is very important. Through highlighting the areas that you may be missing in your everyday cognition and search for a future plan of action, you will be able to explore new options that will potentially open new doors for you that you had not previously considered. This was originally developed by a man named Fritz Zwicky. Fritz was a professor at Caltech in California and he primarily worked in the area of astrophysics. He was a very very strange person. He was probably I guess you could call him one of the, the, the world's worst bro type people ever. He was a, had, was a big fan of doing one-armed push-ups in front of his class, and he was a famous womanizer, things like that. But he did develop a very, very cool methodology for uh, exploring problems. He personally used this methodology to find solutions to problems that had previously plagued astrophysicists and astronomers. And now you can use it to build your own future. So I'll get right into it. This is downloadable. The link below will give you access to the sheet and then follow along and I will walk you through finding a solution to a problem. In this case, we're going to tackle the problem of employment because it's something that so many people are having a challenge with these days. Welcome to the Plato Life Option Matrix. This is a tool that I created to specifically help you find answers to these sorts of questions that plague you so badly. So I'm just going to dive right into it. Again, this is available at the link below in the description, so you can go download it and try it out for yourself. Don't think about this too much. As you do this, go with your gut instincts and throw in the first options that come to your mind. Anything can be used to develop a new path of thinking. This is all about breaking the constraints that you unconsciously place on yourself. So, for the purposes of this, we're going to take a problem that is extremely common in people who have been my clients in the past, and that is, I've finished with my schooling, I've finished my degree, I've finished my MBA, whatever. I need to know what to do next. I don't know what to do. Should I be a consultant? Should I work for a big consulting firm? Should I work for a tech consulting firm? Usually it's some flavor of consulting that everyone seems to want to do these days. But this is essentially the problem that everyone encounters. The problem with this problem is that it's not actually a problem. It's a false dichotomy that they create in their own mind. And we will use the morphological box to highlight exactly how this is a potential issue to look at. So, in this sheet, okay, you have a brief description that will walk you through a little bit of uh, what the background is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start by entering our topics and options below, okay? Now these are the option sets. Now let's go ahead and say that since you presumably are looking to find a new line of employment okay let's go ahead and put industry here now let's pick three industries that you might feel that you would like to go into so consulting is very popular so let's do let's go ahead and do that let's also go ahead and enter uh, say design and let's go ahead and enter say Mm, finance okay now our option set two we're gonna go with salary okay and we're gonna go ahead and say a low salary average salary except I can spell and high salary okay and option set three let's go with uh, the company okay what type of company structure do you work within? Are you an entrepreneur? 
are you working for a small company or are you working for a very large company okay now what this is going to do is when you fill these three option sets in, it's going to populate this cube. Now what this cube is, is this is 27 different boxes. Each box, which each box exists at the intersection of three of these potentials, okay? So for example, if we look at this closest box, if we think of this as a 3D cube, okay? We have the linking of entrepreneurship finance with a high salary okay so what might that be okay something like that could be doing your own personal trading or doing trading specifically with people uh you know as, as a as a service that you provide to others uh hedge fund managers could potentially fall into this category wait we're missing s oh large company haven't finished that yet there we go there's our large company okay so consulting okay large company high salary would be this box right here okay so this would be working for a company like mckinsey or bain or bcg you know one of the big threes so that's basically how this is structured now when we go down here to the last page okay what this is going to give us is it's going to give us all of the various options that we've put together so that we can now think through them okay so what is consulting with a low salary as an entrepreneur, what would that look like? What type of job could that potentially be? Okay, so this could be small town consultancy um, in a niche industry. Okay, consulting plus low salary small company. Okay, this could potentially be uh, working for another small company in a, an area that focuses on uh, NGOs, consulting for NGOs, consulting for development projects, consulting for uh, sustainability projects and things like that. Oftentimes as a small company, the pay that they bring in is not massive, therefore it ends up fitting these three criteria. You know, if we scroll down here and say consulting high salary entrepreneur, Okay, if you're going to be a, a consultant and you're going to get paid a lot and you're going to be working for yourself, you're going to be a niche consultant, okay, who has expertise, very a very high level of expertise in something that's either very much in demand or that there are very few experts of. So this might, for example, be uh, being a consultant that helps with the configuration of a specific type of software that very few people really understand. And so we can start out by looking at all of these various options, okay? And thinking through what they might be. And as you imagine these potential futures for yourself, you'll be able to find new ways that you can fit what you want to do and who you are into these futures. Now, we've used this in the instance of building a profile for a person who wants to expand into a new area. But you could replace these option sets with literally anything. It doesn't even have to be your, um, your future. It doesn't have to be your employment. You can use it to solve technical problems. You can use it to solve innovation challenges. You can use it to make choices in your everyday life, okay, such as where to live. Okay, all of these things can potentially be solved using something like this, or at least it doesn't solve it, but it gives you the information and it gives you the impetus to try. Anyway, that is how you use a morphological box. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to comment below or shoot us a message. You can find us at our website, which is listed down below or on Facebook. And we look forward to being able to help you achieve your greatest potential. Thanks. Peace.